Oh my, the geeks are here and they are pumped up after seeing the Rascals dance. Uh, they're going to be on the World of Dance. No, yeah, not the geeks, so the rest of the World of Dance. But anyway, guys, thanks for being here. We're going to talk eSports. Yes. And there's no denying that the crowds of people that are watching other people play video games, it, it, it's huge. Well, it's it's a major business. They're saying this year it's going to break, reach a billion-dollar year business. Obviously, there's even conversations about adding it to the Olympics. It's both the fact that you have professional players with sponsors and endorsement deals and celebrities mm -hmm. in that space, but also, yes, the audience that they have is enormous. So it's summer, it's eSports season, and basically, Basically, the biggest game in town right now is League of Legends. That last year it filled the Bird's Nest Stadium, the one in Beijing, right. and they had 4.9 million dollars in prizes. They had a viewership of 80 million people. Now the Super Bowl is 100 million, but right. that's not that's a still, small amount. No, that's Absolutely. huge. Yeah. So right now, right this week is week six of their nine-week. Uh, uh, regional areas. They're doing North America and the EU, but they're moving on their way to worlds. This year will be in South Korea, but I mean, it is an enormous business, and I think it's only going to get bigger. And they're not the only business. The only They're not the only game in town, right. right? Well, yeah. there's a whole bunch of games. The other one that's actually happening, it's a, the finals are happening for Overwatch. It's happening on the 27th and 28th, and in terms of, uh, you know, the the, the environment to play, you know, this is very organized, very organized. They all have uniforms. These teams, they actually organize the professional teams. They all have to play. The two teams that are in the finals are from Philadelphia and London. So they're the ones that are going to be playing on the 27th and 28th. And there's a prize pool of $1.4 million. And so this will be, uh, I guess, aired. It'll be streamed on Twitch. Right. It'll be available on, on uh, overwatchleague.com and the Overwatch app. So. You know, it's it's really open to everybody, mm -hmm. and this is such an organized thing that right. you know it's definitely in the pro it, pro league. Certainly, looks like it's going to grow. Overwatch is a game, yes. but yeah. it's also yeah. a league, right? Right, yeah, absolutely, yeah. that's right. a competition. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what about in Hawaii? How are we doing? Well. Yes. Hawaii Pacific University this year opened their eSports arena down there at Aloha Tower Place, uh, Aloha Tower Marketplace, uh, 3,000 square feet, and they've got the game systems, they've got VR stations, and they're really trying to get into it. They even say they're going to have scholarships, and it's, oh, it's in fact League of Legends in which they want to be a right. collegiate Can player. Can you major in eSports well, or video not, games? Not and... quite yet. At the University of Hawaii at Manoa, they have a first uh, eSports course in the, in the communications department, but the question is, can we perform? Certainly, my kids love to play. There's Sure. A lot of casual players you can go to, uh, you know, PC gamers and IEA. But to perform in these leagues, it's tough because Hawaii is so distant from the mainland or even from Asia. But why does distance make a difference? Because even at the speed of elect electrons across the Pacific, by the time uh, an enemy spots you, you will be dead before you see them. I so mean, the delay because of distance. Milliseconds. But there has been attempts to start a team here. The Quincy Solano tried to, is working on doing a team here. So you never know. But it, we do have some specific challenges in Hawaii. Okay, guys, we just got a few seconds. What's coming up on the radio tonight? So tonight, uh, we're actually going to do the uh, <coughs> gubernatorial candidate. We're going to have Colleen Hanabusa on this week, and we're going to have Governor David Ige next week. So we're just going to be talking to them about uh, technology and then building a, you know, a diversified economy. Okay, HBR 188.1, that's mm -hmm. 6.30 mm -hmm. tonight. Guys, thanks so much. Yep. Uh, awesome. The Geeks, great to have you with us in the studio. We'll take a quick break. Back with more Sunrise here in just a moment. <laughs> I think you guys should be on World of Dance. I really do. I really, really do. <laughs>